Hello everybody out there from FixEasy.com. Looks like today we're going to be disassembling an iPad 4. With this video we plan to show you how to disassemble, change the front touchscreen digitizer, as well as the LCD liquid crystal display. The iPad 4 is very similar to its previous version, the iPad 3. As we go through the disassemble we will notate a few changes. The first change that we could recognize is Apple's new dock port, which they call their lightning connector, which is available on the iPad 4, as well as the new iPhone 5. Before we get started on our disassemble today, let's go ahead and review the tools that we're going to utilize. The first being our spudger, being real handy with a pointed end on one side and a flat end on the other. A pair of our plastic opening tools will also be utilized. A set of our triangle shaped opening tools. A small Phillips screwdriver. As well as a heat gun or a blow dryer. Let's go ahead and begin our process and that's going to start with our heat gun or blow dryer. Utilize this to heat up the outside edges of our iPad. One to two minutes should suffice and what this will do is begin to heat up the adhesive that's holding that front touchscreen digitizer down. Once you feel like that adhesive might be softened up, grab one of your plastic opening tools and this is what we're going to use to try to find that separation between the front touchscreen and the base of the iPad. Begin working on one side of the unit. Once you start peeling back the front touch screen, start working that entire side. Once you have enough separation, we've found it best to take a triangle opening tool and place it in that gap so that the adhesive doesn't come back in contact with itself. This will allow you to take a second triangle opening tool and work yourself around the entire unit. Continuing to lay triangles in your path so that the adhesive, again, doesn't seal itself back up. We do have to worry about the touchscreen digitizer cable on the left-hand side, about two inches from the bottom, as you continue around the iPad. Be mindful of this so that you don't cause irreversible damage. Once you have the adhesive separated completely around the iPad, we can go ahead and peel back the front touch screen, almost like a book. And the first thing you should recognize is the touch screen ribbon cable, like we mentioned in its location. And then a change for the iPad 4 from the iPad 3, you'll also notice a small ribbon cable for the home button. Let's be mindful of both of these cables as we continue our disassemble. Your next step should be to notice that the LCD is held in place by four small Phillips screws. We're gonna take our small Phillips screwdriver and begin to remove those screws so that we can peel back our LCD. With the four screws removed, we can use our spudger to help pick our LCD up out of its location and peel it back and lay it on top of our touchscreen digitizer. Notice that the LCD also has a ribbon cable. We can follow that ribbon cable back to its socket, which is located on the motherboard and recognize its locking tab. This locking tab needs to be flipped up in a 90 degree fashion before the ribbon cable can be released. With the ribbon cable released for the LCD, we can then pick up the LCD and remove it completely from the iPad. To now remove our touch screen, we can follow its ribbon cable to the motherboard and recognize it has two cables so two sockets need to be unlocked.
And then do not forget the small home button ribbon cable that also has a locking tab. Flip up the lock and release the cable. With all three cables removed from their sockets, you can now maneuver the touchscreen away from the iPad, leaving us with just the base of the iPad. We can now go ahead and start working towards our reassembly of our iPad 4, starting with our touchscreen digitizer. We can maneuver it into place in a position where the ribbon cable has enough slack to find itself into the socket on the motherboard. Let's slide our ribbon cables into their sockets. Lock down on their tabs. And secure the ribbon wire in place. We can move on to our small home button ribbon wire. Do the same situation where we're sliding our ribbon cable into the locking socket and locking down its tab to finalize that connection. With our three connections secured for our front touch screen, We can get our LCD into position, laying it on top of our touch screen, again with a nut slack on the ribbon cable to reach its socket on the motherboard. Let's slide that cable into its socket and lock down its tab, finalizing that connection. With the LCD connection in place, we can flip the LCD into its location and begin securing it down with its four Phillips screws at all four corners. With your LCD screwed down and secured, we can move on to our touchscreen, lifting it up into position. When you're doing this install, your replacement touchscreen is going to have all new adhesive. You might want to be on the lookout for a little bit of debris or maybe old adhesive on the base of the unit before securing your touchscreen down. Go ahead and flip the touchscreen down for the final piece of assembly. And it's not necessary, but I find it useful to reheat up the adhesive when you're securing the touchscreen down to the base of the iPad to assist with adhesion. All of the replacement parts and tools that you've seen in this video today are available at www. Dot fix easy dot com.